Alright, so hi everyone. Today we are playing Pokemon. We're closing in on the end. We've only got uh, one gym badge left to get. Hopefully we'll get it today. And I've noticed a pattern. I'm A lot of my fights I've done here with gym leaders, I've kind of over prepared, kind of like psyched myself out for the fights. And so for, for today's fight, I'm doing the opposite. I have like basically not prepared at all for this fight. And I'm sure my hubris is going to come crashing down on me right now. Um, I will say here... What was I gonna say? Yeah, we still gotta clear out this one trainer first, so... Get out of my way, Karate King. And I guess we'll go back and heal, because why not? Kind of a boring start to the video, but probably you guys won't be seeing a whole lot of this. I mean, yeah, Surf. Surf has 15 PP, so like, you may as well heal up. Get that back, I guess. This is not how you get to him. Alright, we may have more fights. I may have messed up. Oh, okay, I see it. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go through a bit more before we do the fight, but... Whatever, I mean, that'll all be sped up for you guys. Did we fight this guy before? No, we didn't. Of course not. Alright, well, I mean... What do you think the odds are, the difference between beating Giovanni and not, are the one PP of Surf I just used up, like... We're going in basically fresh here, right? Like, that's close enough. And yeah, it's Giovanni here, the leader of Team Rocket. Why were you holding back last time? Like, I stole the Master Ball or whatever from you. Because you were holding back, but whatever. Don't know how good this fight's gonna go, but it's gonna dig. Oh no, he uses a guard spec. How much does this do? One hit KO, just like that. Yeah, no problem. Persian. We, um, I think. Hmm. Do we? I let's see his Nasuji. Just cause, like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, basically. We get hit. Wow. Okay, a crit, unlucky. We'll need to get a uh, Nasuji back, anyways. So we'll go ahead and send out Vlea. Uh, we have. An we have 15 revives, we're good. Is, do we... I think we stall here. Like, if they, if they had double team a whole bunch, it might be a problem for our future Pokemon, but, like... We can theoretically, like, stall here a bit. Oh, great. Now he's got a bunch of double teams set up. We might not win this anymore, because, like, I don't think I'll hit any time, so we may have to restart the video here. Yeah, we get a miss. Oh, we get a hit. Alright. I maybe I should have used Recover, but given it one shot us last time. Let's go for Recover. Yep. Yeah, I called it, basically. I don't know if it'll one-hit KO if it doesn't crit, but 
Or we're about to find out. Okay, uh, not happy with that, but... Revive Misushi, and if we don't immediately die here, we'll revive Leia as... So we can then revive Misushi again if we need to. And at this point, they're double teamed, like, full out, so there's no harm in just, like, going for it. And we land a hit. Yeah, this is very underleveled, so... Not the best, but... Probably not gonna live this unless we get lucky with the hits. We do not, of course. Not nice. Okay. Do we recover here? I, I did not matter. Well, this is proven to be a fun fight here. Mm-hmm. I guess it didn't matter what we picked there. At this point, I'm just gonna try to get a hit in with Lily Aston, and if we don't, uh, we may have to restart. Although, well, Yasin can take hits, I forgot. Look at that, Max Fury Swipes and... You know. And it lands the hit, Will Yasin is gonna carry this whole team, man. Level up, not even half. Out of HP anymore. Haze. Uh, I don't see a point in learning Haze. I mean, if we need it, we can just use a guard spec. I mean, they literally use the same code in this generation. We will switch out uh, Yalvi so I can, like, get Nasushi back, and depending on what the Native Queen does here, maybe heal up a bit. If it doesn't just strike me down immediately. Which it doesn't. Use a uh, lemonade. And see if she has recovered, so I guess we'll really ask him first. And then we'll do an Asushi just in case. Okay, I'm happy with this. And then we'll revive just so we can, like, keep going if we need to. I mean, since we can, we may as well do that. Is this, like, the whole AI thing? Where it's, like, Trying to use super effective moves, but that's just all I can see. Because if we can take this out with Yalve, that'll be, um, funny, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna double team up here. We may have to do some speed ups, because this is gonna take a while, no matter what happens.
Unfortunately, we can't do the toxic trick, so... I guess we find Bip, because I want to save the potentially useful moves for, like, depending on how this goes. I might be able to sweep his team with, um, Bulbasaur here, Yalve, so... Don't know why I used the guards back there, but... Sure thing, buddy. Which move is Razor Leaf or Vine Whip better? I'm gonna look it up. Yes, Razor Leaf is much better than Vine Whip. So it uh, does more damage. I guess it has a slightly less accuracy, but um, I mean we're full evasion. So even if we don't get the same glitch, which it looks like we might. I can still do that, you know. And of course it doesn't activate until his turn, so... And, okay, well, we're gonna have to, have to sit through this again, but, alright. Well, this quickly turned from like a... rough strategy game into like a really stupid fight real quick, but I mean... Makes it entertaining, right? This is like things I think I might be able to take out his um ride on as his last Pokemon. Now we have full evasion, we have like a bunch of setup moves, so there is a chance we can win here. I mean like with just Yalve. Because now we've got a toxic uh, leech seed glitch going on. I probably should have used them in the opposite order. Partially because toxic will be more useful for other Pokemon if Yalve does get hit. Because he's probably going to die immediately. And partially because then we'll heal, get our healing set up faster. Or Razor Leaf just kills it immediately. That can happen too. Alright, well, not the Pokemon I expected to one-shot his team, but I will take it, you know? I mean, we are, we're fine with this, I'm looking it up. Well deserved, I guess. Alright, we got a uh, Fissure, one Hikio. He, he made it? What does that mean? I mean, Fisher is, I think, overall a pretty bad move. It can only work if you're faster than your opponent and has a 30% chance of hitting. If it does, it's a one-hit KO, but, I mean... You gotta last for a while. Now, okay. I don't know how long that's gonna show up on the, um, video. So we are gonna do one more thing in preparation today. That is something I neglected to do before. We need to get a uh, fly. Because once we're done with the Elite Four Champion stuff, we're still gonna have stuff to do. Like I said, I wanted to end this series with completing the Pokédex. And there's some, like, stuff I'm setting up as post game content to do here, so. Fly will make that all a lot more useful. I haven't been using it so far because um, I don't like giving my Pokemon HMs unless I have to, and I'm not even using the right Poke for PC. That's what it's called, the Poke PC. Alright. Anyways. Most of this will be sped up for you guys. As always.
Okay, here, so we're leaving Saldon. I believe it is right here. There's this random tree. I don't carry Pokemon with me that knows cut, so I've never been up here, but there is this. Is it here? Are you the... Okay, you're just some rando. And that takes us up here, where we can talk to this person. And we get fly. Which is gonna be helpful later on. Do we have any Pokemon we can... Can we teach it a full name here right now, or...? I don't know if I want to teach it any other of my Pokemon. Nope. Fell out just no one's able, so we'll have to go switch them out in the PC, but that's alright. So we are now going to take out my Pidgey called Lania, level 4. And we'll switch back to box 2 just for convenience sake. And we gotta like save after because that's how this weird game works. And now we can finally teach fly, right? Hopefully. Alright, and now we can just fly back to Saldon, Viridian, wherever, you know what I mean. Very smooth animation back here, alright. And then, I don't know, I don't think we need to heal up again, do we? I need to figure out how to get to this PC. I'll switch out my Pokemon here. Fun fact, I was looking through my um, resources there, and Vilea here, I th what I want to do with Vilea here, I need um, one more level, so we're just going to train Vilea real quick, we're not really in a good spot to do that, but oh, I didn't think things through, whatever. Okay, it's not gonna be enough. We'll have to go back. I'm sorry. Okay, this is me padding out my videos, you know? We'll just hang on to Lania here until we're done with today. Alright, now I believe Leia is going to level up here. We're going to learn Metronome, which is the move I wanted. Okay. Absolutely we are. I think we'll forget Pound. I think it might be a little better than Double Slap, actually, to have. But Double Slap is a bit less consistent, which is kind of what I'm going for with Leia here. And now that Leia has Metronome, we can go ahead and do what I was wanting to do. And we're going to evolve it here. We need to get a Moonstone. I'm sure I have them in my PC though, right? Yeah, I got three of them. Alright, so now, finally... We've got Vallea, right? Alright, stats... So I'll outfit. I have this little setup here, and then we will use our uh, moonstone. And there we go. Like that's a nice sprite. Look how happy it looks. All right. What are your stats like now? Alright, considerably better. That's good. And I guess we will actually now be going to advancing the plot tomorrow, finally. Get around to that, you know? So, we'll fly to Viridian. And now, next time, we're just um, going to the Elite Four. And then, 
beating the game next two or three episodes. I don't know how long it's going to take to get through Victory Road, like... It always took me a long time as a kid to get through Victory Ro Road, but then again, I was, um, very dumb as a child. So, I might be doing better here this time. I gotta look at maps and all that, but we will call it a day. It's been a fair bit of a recording session having to do everything I've done, partially because I'm dumb, but, you know. That's the aesthetic of this channel. That's what we're going for here. You call it being dumb. I call it being authentic, you know? Being my true self. And we'll save. Okay. Eight batches, 40 Pokemon, 19 hours. Not making great time, but, you know. Not exactly a speedrun, but that's how I am as a person.